John chapter 2, verse 1 through 4 reads, On the third day, there was a wedding at Canaan in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. The word of God to the people of God. Change and decay is all around. But it does not stop there. Christ Jesus is also everywhere. He is a present help to meet us at the point of our need. And oh, how we need him. But we must look to him, the king of glory, and do what he tells us, and he will deliver us. We see in our story at the wedding in Canaan of Galilee, the family was about to be in Paris and considered inhospitable because the wine ran out. Instead of announcing the problem to the guests, they told the mother of Jesus, who then told Jesus, and the rest is history. Christ Jesus, the King of glory, is always present to intervene and to meet us at the point of our need, but we must look to him and do what he has already spoken. The miracles symbolize the abundance of God's blessings and his transformative power to turn ordinary into extraordinary. Today, Christ Jesus, the King of glory, is always present to prevent spiritual bankruptcy, depletion, exhaustion, and emptiness. He wants to prevent embarrassment and degradation for all believers. But we must first look to him and do what he commands. Christ Jesus, the King of glory, is our new wine, and he wants to fill us up. Would you let your cup be available for him today? He's willing to pour into us all we need, but we must look to him and do what he commands. Father, we thank you for your ability to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think through Christ Jesus, the King of glory. We honor you today that we can overcome every situation and circumstance. And we can be all that you have called us to be today. We can be sober, righteous, and godly because of Christ, the King of glory. And that we must look to you from whence come at our help. They look to Mary. When Mary knew that her son came into this world to seek and to save the lost, to bring salvation. And so she says to him, the wine run out. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for those of us who wine has run out. We are bankrupt spiritually. We have depleted. We have come to naught. But you are here. You are present help in trouble. And so we pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families, leaders everywhere, that we must look to you, that we can overcome. We can grow. 
we can go forward, but we must look to you and also obey you. And so we give you praise. We adore you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you can do everything but fail. And so, thank you for being our new wife, for being a present help, for being the one who gives and continue to give. We are you today as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and as we pray for families everywhere. Yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. You are Christ, the King of glory. And we look to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my family in Christ. Let's look to him. Let's do what he says. He is able. He is the King of glory, our new wine. And he wants to fill us up till we overflow so that we may be able to help others in time of need. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 